Hi everyone, this is Kasia from Feeling Artsy and today we're going to draw Ariana Grande from a Rain On Me video that she sings with um, Lady Gaga. If you enjoy drawing with me, make sure you subscribe down below. To complete this project, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil and then something to color with. I'm going to use markers. We will begin by drawing a circle. The circle will be representing her head. To do a perfect circle, you can use a trick and trace something round, or you can just work on it for a while like I'm going to, until you get a circle that you like. Make sure your pencil lines are light, so that um, they can be easily erased later. Once you have your circle, you want to divide it halfway, going from top to bottom, and halfway going sideways. Now draw these lines slightly again because we will erase them later. We will divide the bottom half in three parts, so one, two, three, and then we're going to draw a line right here on this first one. Her eyes will go in between these two lines, and to draw her eyes we're going to draw a curve, so that would be the top lid. She has huge eyelashes so we will extend this curve and curve it the other way to show her eyelashes. And for her eye we are going to draw, for her eyeball, we're going to draw a circle that will be right under here. And inside the circle we're going to draw another circle for the pupil. And inside of that, one more small circle for the speckle of light. And we can thicken her top brow and we can give her two eyelashes, the second one. We're going to draw a little line here and then a big eyebrow right above. So right about where this ends, go up and follow the curve of the eye and then turn down towards the eyelashes. And that will be her eyebrow. And we're going to do exact same thing on the other side. So a curve for the top of the eye that curves back out for the eyelashes. Second eyelash. And big circle for the pupil with another circle inside and a tiny little circle for the light speckle. Now we're going to draw two lines here to show the bottom of the eye. We're going to give her a little tiny nose that will be right on this line here, two dots, and her lip will be on this line. So first you're going to draw a line across, a straight line across. Then the top lip will be two bumps, like drawing the top of the heart. And then the bottom lip will be a part of like a U-like shape. I'm going to draw two light circles here for her cheeks. And I'm going to give her a skinny neck right here. Now her ears will be right here on the same line as the eyes are. So draw two small curves, one like a D and one like a C on the other side. And um, we will go up here to draw her hair. So go under the top of her head, right above here, and we're going to draw a curved line that will fall below the head. So curve it and then come inside of here and her hair will be very long coming straight down right here. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So curve up a little bit and then curve back towards the side of the head and around the eye and go down for the long hair. The top part of the hair will go outside of her head so 
you want to go right over the ear and then right outside so this is the headline go outside the, that line go up and then come back until you meet around the ear we can thicken this hair some like this we can give it another strand and we can give it more hair this way on this side there's going to be more hair so thicken this strand and give it more strands so just curved lines like this for the hair now she's going to have a big ponytail so first in the middle and the center we're going to draw a rectangle and this rectangle is like rolled up hair like this and above this rectangle around this we're going to draw a big upside down U and that will be the ponytail so draw a shape like this like a big curve and now here we will connect this to make two more upside down U's so this is like the hair going towards the back and it's coming back down here now we will draw a piece of her body so we're going to give her little shoulders going to the sides here from her neck her um, shoulder will come down here for her outfit we'll do two curves like this so that will be her dress and behind her body she has butterfly wings on or some other wings so to draw that you will draw a line here that comes out and then we're gonna draw a ruffle line coming down so like this and there's cutouts that we will also draw one two three four and we will do it on the other side so about the same spot imagine going back here and then it comes up here curvy line and some of the cutouts okay I feel like my sketch is done I'm going to switch to my marker this marker is a liner and I'm going to outline all of the lines with it you can use a sharpie for this or you can use any kind of black marker but a thin marker, marker is better. Uh, once I'm doing this, I'm trying to pick the lines that look the best to me. And all of the other one lines will get erased later when I finish outlining. So once I finish outlining, like I said, I'm going to erase everything. Or erase all of the pencil lines. And that will give my drawing a lot cleaner look. Oh, and look, I forgot the second eyebrow. So just like the other one, follow the curve of the eye. And after erasing, I will start coloring my picture. I'm going to use markers. You can use markers just like I am doing. I'm linking to all of my materials at the bottom of this video, but you can use any kind of markers. You can also use crayons for this you can use colored pencils or you can paint your painting
Okay, I feel like my Ariana's done. Make sure to sign and date your drawing. And come back to see me soon.